You are now tuned in to Boxing Blah 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 Where we blah 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 about everything boxing In this episode we discuss Jerron Boots Ennis Who's next for him? Virgil Ortiz Camp doesn't seem to want the smoke So what say you Keith Thurman? Plus Seems like everybody's scared of the boogeyman, Devin Haney. <clears throat> Tiafimo Lopez, <clears throat> Ryan Garcia, just to name a few. Let's go! Are now tuned into boxing blah 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 where we <laughs> blah 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 about everything. Yes, Bo- yes, yes. Yes, That's good. sir. Yes, sir. Got my good. man PB with me today. Uh we had a she still got on that Raiders hat. We still we still got this. Hey, oh, these Raiders, man. You no, know, we gotta get on that kind of Raiders thing. 100, baby. Hey man, yeah. But um go Falcon. Uh, <laughs> but hey, so the hottest news out right now really has been Jerron Boots Ennis. Uh, everyone's talking about Jerron Boots Ennis after that last performance he had against Surya Lipinets. Uh, everyone thought Lipinets was gonna go to distance. Uh, no one has knocked out Lipinets and all that. Uh, he looked better in his step up fight than Virgil Ortiz did in his against Maurice Hooker, even though Virgil Ortiz did look good against Maurice Hooker. Uh, and so they've asked the trainer of Virgil Ortiz, um, Garcia, you know, uh, Mikey's brother, Mikey Garcia, right. his brother, he trains him. And so he was, they asked him and said, so I know you saw that Jerome Boots in this fight. Um, what's up with you, with, with your fighter Ortiz versus Boots? And he right. was like, nah, <laughs> he was like, nah. Yeah. He said, maybe in four years. He said, maybe in 48 months. <laughs> yeah, 48 months. That's four years. But, you know, that surprised me, man. That surprised me. Wow. You know, first, I want to correct one thing. Mm-hmm. I, want to, I want to say this. Uh, uh, shouts out to um, Lopez, Tilafema Lopez, for being the best lightweight uh, in boxing right now. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to get going. Okay, um... <laughs> Boots Ennis, okay, you got to call it like it is, man. He looked good, but it's almost like he fought a second grader. He fought a guy, he, he fought a second grader. He fought a guy coming up in a weight class, right? And, and, and he fought a guy that couldn't take his punches, but he could take his punch. I want to see him fight somebody in his weight class who's top caliber. Now, now his footwork looked good. I'm not taking nothing from him. Footwork looked good. But I want to see him fight somebody in his in his class, mm-hmm. who has the power to rupture his brain. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Well, see, the thing is, is now he's become the real boogeyman. The main person he should be fighting is Virgil Ortiz. They're on the same plan. They're on the same plateau, going this way. They stay hey, around hey. the same age. Uh, both of them are big, natural welterweights. Um, right. hey. So they're in that boat now to where Virgil Ortiz will probably get some bigger fights quicker because he got slow feet. And people yeah. see, okay, Maurice Hooker was able to land some good punches on you. If I yeah. got power and I land something, I might get you out of there. So he might exactly. get some bigger fights first just because he's easier fruit to pick. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He's fruit. Um, but Boots already said from the jump, he definitely wants uh, Terrence Crawford and, and Errol Spence. Uh, he knows Terrence Crawford's probably going to be off the table because he ain't trying to fight nobody, really, except for Errol Spence and Pacquiao. Um, right, right. Errol Spence hit him up and even said, hey, man, he hit him up on FaceTime. He was like, young pups can't be talking to the big dogs like that. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and I'll be honest, man, Ennis is not ready for Errol Spence. He's not ready yet. Okay, I'm not going to debate you on that. But if there's anyone else to put in that top three for welterweight, it's going to be in it. No, sir. Yeah, now he done called out Thurman. Now, I'll tell you this. Uh Now, now, now Thurman, 
Now, Thurman, Thurman, Thurman is going to be a good guy. Mm -hmm. Thurman hit hard, mm -hmm. can be elusive at times. The mm -hmm. problem with Thurman is he starts slow. That's his biggest, that's his biggest problem. Yeah. In every fight, Thurman starts slow. If 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 this kid could, if Ennis could get out and start start fast with Thurman, he'll beat Thurman. But if he stay in Thurman's way later in the rounds, he is going to get knocked out. You know what? I like I like that breakdown. I can't say he's gonna get knocked out, but I like that breakdown. I can't say he's gonna get knocked out for the same reason to where I feel like a lot of people who are real good, especially with their footwork. Once they see it's a chance that, that they can get knocked out, they also see it's a slim chance that they're going to win, they can go into a, a retreat mode to where it's just all about not getting knocked out, just lasting the 12 rounds. True, so true. definitely has the footwork, and Thurman has the footwork to do that kind of thing. True. So if it's going to be a knockout, I think it'll actually end up being earlier when both of them are trying to figure out um, both of them feel confident, like, oh, okay, I'm going to win this fight. I'm going to win this fight. And all of a sudden, one of them take one, and boom, it goes <laughs> down, you know. But, uh, you know, Keith can make a fight last, too. Keith can get on that, that bike, and he'll get to running around and all that and just pot shotting. Uh, but I got Sean Porter as my number three welterweight right now. And Sean Porter has said on several accounts, he ain't fighting in this unless he just absolutely has to. No, well, you know, big guy. <laughs> with quick, fast feet. He said, I thought I had the best footwork in boxing. Sean Porter said, man, I might have to take my hats off the end. It's like, he a tie. It, I can't say he beat me, but he a tie. <laughs> footwork. You know what? i tell you this. I like I like what you just said. Yeah. You said Sean Porter is the best number three welter yeah. right now. Yeah. And I got to agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%. So I would like to see if, if we're not going to put Thurman in there, right? Got not put Thurman in there. We got Thurman at number four. Okay, so so well, why I don't we say Pacquiao for Because Pacquiao beat him. But, you know. Well, to me, I think man, Thurman Pacquiao, has a better chance like, of beating him than Pacquiao. Pacquiao's, what, 43 now? Right. I still think Thurman has a better chance against Bruce Ennis than Pacquiao. Especially if you, if, five, ask, all that shit. If, if you ask me honestly, if you ask me honestly, I would say that that Thurman fight was closer to what they said it was with yeah. Pacquiao. Okay, because had Thurman started two rounds earlier, mm -hmm. Pacquiao loses. Okay, so 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 I I would put Thurman before Pacquiao, even though Pacquiao beat him. I don't have any I would have to say Thur I would have to say Thurman four. I don't have any I'm, problem with that. And 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 so if we looking at we looking at Earl Spence one, mm -hmm. where does Terrence Crawford fit in this picture? <laughs> <laughs> My man, ask the real question. Hey, Amen. Um, I had him number two only because that's what the majority was saying. You know, I mean, most of America is Christian. So, you know, <laughs> I figured I'd say grace before I eat and, you know, stuff like that. But you want to break down the history of the Bible and the popes and all that, you will find <laughs> out that in the book of Bud, it is very slim pickings on competition. Amen. No, it's amen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Uh, I mean, he has the worst resume out of all of them. So really, he man, does. honestly, if you let me tell the truth on how I got it, I got it. Arrow one. I got it. Actually, Porter two. And I'm a go ahead. Go ahead. Then I, I might I'm gonna say uh I'm going to go ahead and keep Pacquiao and Thurman the tie third, and then I'll say Crawford at five. You know I ain't got no problem with that. <laughs> Crawford I five. No problem. And I might be able to go on ahead and – like, Living Yes is better competition than Terrence Crawford has ever fought. That's real tough. Yeah, I mean, I'm serious. I mean, That's like, so Jerron Ennis has a better resume at welterweight. So are you saying that you would love to see Ennis fight Crawford? Yeah, hell yeah. I would love that. I would love that. I would, I would like that to be Crawford. If it ain't Sean Porter, I would like for it to be Ennis or Thurman. 
I mean, it, it has to be either. It has to be a toss up. I wouldn't like to see him fight Pacquiao. Let me say that. Let me be. Let me go on record to say that. Yeah. No Pacquiao nowhere in this thing because to me, Pacquiao is a is a is a name that's going to draw tickets, right? Yeah. He's going to draw pay per views. He's going to get you paid. He's just a payday for you. Yeah. You know, same as uh, um, Floyd Mayweather would be right now. He's a payday. Yeah. But if you want to really look at people. I would say you are correct on um, Thurman and Enos or either Porter and Enos or either, for that fact, Crawford and Enos. Yeah, uh-huh. Right. Those, so, so it has to be one of those three. Yeah. Or 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 because, see, you know, we know um, uh, Ortiz pulled out. Right. He pulled out. He pulled out. That was, if, if I was, if I was Ortiz, I'd look for another train. I mean. I look for another trainer. I mean, that's almost like that's almost like saying your your your, your wife saying the next door neighbor is a is a better guy than you are. I think it's more of experience with that whole Mikey Garcia thing where he was like, "Oh no, I'm good. You know, I'm good. I'm gonna take on Errol Spence." He was like, "All right, Mikey, we're gonna help you get it." Blah blah. And Errol Spence getting there and drag him through the mud. Through through the mud. I mean, man. just drag. I mean, drag him along. You know what I'm saying? And threw him over his back. And, you know, just walking around like this, and and, and Errol had Mikey Garcia on his shoulder right here, telling you everybody know? free licks, free licks, free licks. Anybody want to get some? <laughs> hey, man, so I think it's a little bit of that experience of saying, "Hey, these upper echelon uh, athletic fighters, uh, they really doing something more than what we got in foreign." So I think it was kind of wise for him to say that and play the whole "let's build this fight up" type thing. And keep making some money from his cat from his uh from his money maker. But, yeah, but uh, I'll be honest with you. If 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 he feel that way, then you you should have you you listen to what you're saying, right? So yeah. okay, we already know that he don't want to fight Ennis, right? Mm -hmm. You think Ennis is too good. Yeah. So we so 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 the number one, which is Earl Spence, mm -hmm. we already know that he said now that he won't fight him. Because if you won't fight Ennis, then you can't fight Earl Spence. Am I right? right? Right. Okay. So, so the only people that we have now is Sean Porter. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. We have um, we have Sean Porter. We have Keith Thurman, mm -hmm. and and we have Bud Crawford, and we have Pacquiao. Mm -hmm. So out of these four people, Ennis needs somebody with a huge name, a big name, man, yeah. to showcase to get out and fight. Yeah. So Porter's out. Porter already said he ain't trying to do it unless it's just do or die. Porter said I ain't doing it. Hey, Porter, Porter is a, is a, is a short. He's a short uh, a welter, right? Yeah, and and Porter, a Porter's only looking for maybe two more big fights, and then he's out. Yeah, I think so. That's that he, think... he said that he, he wants either Crawford or Spence, and that's pretty much so it. Well, I don't think Crawford will fight Porter. Crawford, uh, Crawford yeah. to me like 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 he like he. He's handpicking too early in his career, Ooh. you know. Crawford is, and I think I think I mean, when you, I can't say early because he's thirty three. But yeah, it's too early. I mean, you look at Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather started handpicking at thirty seven, thirty eight. Mm -hmm. You know, but 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 if you take the old, the young Floyd Mayweather and put him up against anybody, including Earl Spence, he'll knock him out. He was he was so yeah. smart. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. so smart in the ring. Yeah, he was so um, smart. Hey, and he was knocking folks out when he was young because he didn't have no brittle hands and nothing like that. So he was knocking folks out. But, uh, but yeah, so I, I think the best matchup for Ennis right now is not going to be Virgil because he's out. And Sean Porter said he's out. It's going to be between Thurman and... Um, Pacquiao. Yeah. Um, unless... Charlo come down. I mean, he might be able to... Beat on Danny Garcia. Oh, Danny Garcia. I, I'll be honest with you, man. Now, if Mikey come up, mm -hmm. if Mikey come up, that's that's a possibility. But if Danny stay where he is, that's a great fight. And if Charlo come down, mm -hmm. that's an excellent fight. Charlo ain't coming down. I think Ennis might end up going up first. That'll so. be the worst mistake he could ever make. Um, I can't say that, man. That's almost like sledgehammering your big toe. You you take a sledgehammer to your big toe. That's 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 
That's detriment, man. He yeah, wouldn't do long it. He can keep making 147 because he's a big guy. He's five ten and a half. And, 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 and he should and he should be able he should be able to take the punch. Yeah. But Charlo hit like a heavyweight. But he like he's in that growth spurt time. So it's hard for a 23-year-old who's 5'10 and a half to keep making 147 pounds. It is. I'm not a big guy, big dog. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I weigh 170. Right. I'm not 5'10 and a half, big dog. No, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I, I don't feel like I'm just a swollen guy. I mean, I got some guns up here. <laughs> I love y'all. Mm. Mm. Hey, hey, but you know, I mean, to make one seven big dog, I mean, that's dropping 23 pounds. Hey, but you got to look at it. He could go up that same weight, too. Just like Charles would come down, he could go up. That's what I'm saying. He I think it'd be up. easier for him to go up. And I think he'll still feel great. I think he might feel even better in 154. That's a lot of weight to put on to carry around. But I think he also understands that Errol and Terrence will probably be moving up to 154 very, very soon. And so let me just dominate this welterweight and clean it up and then move but on. Up. Who else is it? You uh, got you, Ike Garcia stepping up. You got Danny Garcia that's already there. And we already know. And, and Danny, this I, man, Danny is a cool person. But Danny will never, ever beat the top three. No, nah, he ain't. He would never beat the top yeah. three. But he's a he's a good enough name. Yeah, to draw. To draw right. Exactly. Um, like with the buzz that Ennis been getting, like, I, you know, I watched nothing but a bunch of boxing podcasts and all that kind of stuff. It's, I mean, YouTube has been all boots in his 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 Like, oh my God, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? The number three welterweight, in my opinion. You got Arrow, you got Crawford, you got Ennis. I mean, that's how a lot of people are seeing it. Yeah, the boxing voice, but none, uh, showbiz, the adult, uh, blue blood, uh, uh, boxing ego, uh, wasn't Dante's boxing? I mean, all these folks are just like, yeah, he might be ready. But you got to think, TFBMO's young as hell, I and mean, he got his shot. I mean, but you look at you look at Boots. Oh boy, right? got his shot, young as hell. Ain't hey, but but you got you. Lopez is a different beast, man. Oh, we yeah. talking somebody. We talking. We talking. We talking a multivitamin uh, compared to a, a fake vitamin. <laughs> we, and you know, Lopez is a multivitamin, dog. <laughs> Lopez is. is not what you think he is, the big dog. Vitamin, man. You. He is a multivitamin. Lopez okay. got to be the best lightweight, lightweight right now. Right now on the on the planet Earth, I'm talking about lightweights unknown and known. Lopez is reigning, you All know, right. and I don't think nobody's gonna beat this kid in a long time. The only leg you got to stand on with Lopez is the fact that he's had probably the toughest competition out of all the lightweight. What else do I need out, out of that? <laughs> what else do I need? <laughs> I mean, he's a big boned lightweight man. Have you seen the structure of that kid? All right. Okay, so the thing is this. He is. I like Tiafimo. Don't get me wrong. I just feel like when you're a contemporary, the people you came up in the amateurs with, all of them think you're the weakest link. Yeah, yeah. That's, all that's, of them. That's Everyone what they, says he's the weakest link. That's Paint what they say. The weakest link. Garcia says he's the weakest link. Payne yeah. says he's the weakest link. It should. It should. It should. I, I, I. I expect everybody. Nothing. Now, every and all of them says Haney is the hardest fighter. But Devin Haney has not had that fight with somebody that, that Lopez. I, Lopez I beat. With you on I, that. I'll tell you. I'll tell you this right here. I'll tell mm -hmm. you this right here. Lopez beat Lemonchenko. And he whooped Lemonchenko. The 12th round belonged to Lopez. The early rounds belonged to Lopez. Lemichenko tried to get started, but he took him back out of his boxing game. So you got to look at this kid. This kid is smart, man. Hey, this but kid once again, like you said, Ennis, you're not giving Ennis the credit for beating uh, your boy for coming up and waiting. Oh, no. He gets no credit for that. No no credit for that at Lomachenko all. Lomachenko is the littlest guy in the world. Lomachenko didn't even want to be a 135. 
he has won, he won, Lil Machico before that fight said, I'm going back to 130. He said 135 is too big for me. But, but you but, can see Fimo Lopez, all the credit in the world for beating him. And and Lil Machico only had what 12 fights? You gotta look at it, but so he, he, he had about fight. 12 fights. He's the most Trump's accurate. Lemichenko is the most accurate boxer, I think, right now. Hell no. He was the most who, accurately trumped up boxer by top rank. Right who, now. Who, who would you say? Accurate? Accuracy. Yeah. Oh, it's going to either be uh, between Shakur, Haney, and Ennis, probably, for accuracy. Well, you got to look at it. For Ennis, accuracy, yeah. Ennis throw a lot of punches, but... But and Shakur and, and Arrow has a high, high has a high uh, accuracy land rate too. I, I guarantee you, not better than Lomachenko. But see, Lomachenko was fighting a bunch of. You can name maybe what one credible, maybe two credible fighters on Lomachenko record. I mean, he beat them all. He beat them all as far as I saw. Yeah, that's fine. But then he moved up. And for a big lightweight in Tiafimo, a big athletic lightweight. Living yet moved up and fought a big athletic welterweight. Okay, okay. So you, you, you can't give Ennis no credit for a destruction, a six I round mean, destruction this, over a, of a, of a, of a, over a, a slow. Uh, he looked like he he came in the ring unsure of himself. Uh, he he didn't have footwork. I mean, he picked the perfect guy to whoop. And he's picked the perfect guy to whoop. You got to look at the... You know what? I can't, I, t I can't take any credit away from Tenya Fimo beating Lomachenko. What I got to do is just explain to the masses that as big as a fan of Lomachenko as I am, still am I'm still a fan of Lomachenko. I was a bigger fan at one point before. And then I started thinking, I was like, wait, he just kind of trumped up by a top rank. He got a championship fight, his second fight. Lost to Orlando Salido. Okay. Okay. And, and he got a chance to fight again and a vacant belt that, that was up, and he fought and won. So it was okay. almost like a trumped-up type of fighter. You see what I mean? And then all of a sudden, it was the Lomachenko train, and it was like he's pound for pound best. He only had like 10 fights. And he but, fought but, but, Waters. He fought uh, Gimna the Linares, but... Um, and the Lenares fight was a great uh, fight. Yeah, he, he beat, uh, what, uh, Riggin Dow? He beat Riggin Dow, uh, I think, who was moving up or something like that. Yeah, he, so I he, give fought, him that. Fought, he fought a couple of guys. But yeah, I, I give him the Riggin Dow, I give him the Lenares, I give him Nicholas Walters, but it's not like he was just some, he didn't have some great, great resume. So he was just a trumped up. He was a trumped up. Right. But, I mean, uh, I, but I'm not going to take any credit away because I'm, I'm, I'm definitely still a fan of Lomachenko. I think he's a great fighter. Uh, I just think he was just way too little for Tiafimo. Way too little. Well, I mean, it, and you might be right on that because, like I said, man, you look at you look at him. He has large bone structure for a lightweight fighter. Man, this guy don't look like a lightweight fighter. He's short. He right? has he's large bone structure. Yoga. Yeah, I mean, he's he's a. So I look at that man and I say, and getting back to Boots Ennis, he's a large welterweight. Right. This guy remind me of a Thomas Hearns look. Uh, but when you look at Marvin Hagler and Thomas Hearns, who probably I think may have the best ever, ever boxing boxing uh, 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 match within, within three rounds ever in history. Mm -hmm. I don't see. I'm uh, looking up height and all that kind of stuff for them. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you look at you look at. Uh, uh, um, uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, who's not as tall, but then you look at somebody like Sean Porter. Terrence Crawford's he's, tall. Terrence Crawford's tall. Yeah, he's tall. Think he think he's five ten? Yeah, with long arms. Like him and Arrow be around about the same height and all that kind of stuff. And Terrence got long gorilla arms. That's why he be landing on folks because they don't think that he's making up that kind of distance. Right. Look at him, and all of a sudden he touch you from back here. Doo. Like damn, how they hit me, buddy? Because he got them long gorilla little, little, little arms. But 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 I don't think I don't think he's as tall as Ennis. Um, no, I don't think he's as tall as Ennis. Um, let me see. I'm, I'm trying to look this stuff up right quick. Tio uh, Fimo. Tio Fimo Lopez. Uh -huh. Big bone structure. Big Tio bone. Structure. Yeah, he five eight. 
Yeah. Yeah. He my height. Yeah. So 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 you imagine him fighting in lightweight. He's a he has a big bone structure. I think if Lopez really stepped out, Lopez will rule that division, man, for a while. Because you look at Tank. Tank is what? Five what? Five, five? Right. You know, mm-hmm. five, four, five, five. You know, everybody's gonna give a go, is gonna give a little, a little inch or maybe a half an inch to somebody. But I don't think that um I don't think that 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 tank would be good, man. Right now, right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lopez, I okay. just don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it because All right. he don't start fast. And if and if and if he's not careful, Lopez will soak up all of those. That first five rounds to soak him up. Now Tank actually has to come after him, and Lopez with the good footwork that he has, okay. he get away from him. All right, that's cool. Well, I tell you what, then. Um, let's let's let's. Uh... But let's th- let's think about the best round robin scenarios and who you who you would be pick. Let's let's have a bracket for welterweight and lightweight. Let's do a bracket and do some bracketology. We'll have that for next next show. Next week. Yeah, we and, have some bracketology going on. And I'll put it out. Yeah. And, and I tell you what, we're gonna include Earl Spence in this. Mm-hmm. We're gonna include Mikey Garcia, because we've got to bring Mikey Garcia up to Welter. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Well, he fought at Welter, so he's he's included in Welter. So he's included in Welter. So yeah. we got we got we got Mikey Garcia. We got to put Danny Garcia in now. Yeah, uh huh. So Even though I don't want to, because I don't yeah. think Danny Garcia is really. <sighs> he's the Jermaine Taylor man yeah, yeah, of, of Welter. <laughs> he's the Jermaine Taylor. He's a Jermaine solid Taylor's name. Never ever have been in that competition. He's a solid time. name who's going to bring a Puerto Rican crowd. That's it. You and he's not going to do no more. You know, right. now, if if you would take, go back in the day and take Miguel Cotto mm-hmm. and fit him down into welters, oh, man, that would be, that would be something else, man. Uh, you talk, but he fought, you talk, he fought at welter. He fought at welter. He did his thing. It's just Miguel, um, his feet weren't that fast. So when he fought real fast, people who had some pop, he couldn't really keep up with it. And that was his problem. But, um, but yeah, all right. So let's do the bracketology. Uh, got to wrap it up right now. Got some more things oh, yeah. to get done. Uh, oh yeah. But yeah, uh, I appreciate I appreciate the talks every time. It'd be good, good talk. Was- we're even we're supposed to talk about a few heavyweights today, but Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, not as exciting Man. as the the, world and the lightweights right now. But we're gonna talk about it because they're heavyweights and they champions. Yeah. And all that. We're gonna talk about it, but uh, next week. All right. Jake so, Paul uh, last week. Yeah, I mean last night, Jake Paul last night, he knocked oh. the guy out first round. Yeah. Garbage. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's enough of that. We don't we yeah. move on. Right. <laughs> Thank you for touching on that real quick. We got out of the way. We can put him in. Jake Paul can put it be put in the search box now. Yeah, okay. garbage. <laughs> but um, all right, man. Well, this is my man BB T Star. I, I am A Double L M I T. With boxing, blah, 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 where we blah, blah, blah about every boxing. And we are signing out. Out.